geography is really a part of us and who we are and how we see the world. It's good to know where everything is. If we didn't have a world, we wouldn't be alive. There would be no place for us to live on. Um, as a child, I learned very quickly that I had to study maps if I wanted to get anywhere on time. One of my favorite features in Google Earth is the historical imagery feature, which allows you to look at satellite imagery back, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. You can see our changing environment. You can tour Mars. There's some tours of um, the Spirit and Opportunity missions, the NASA Mars rovers. Sydney, Australia. The moon. Lithuania. Hawaii. 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 Illinois. <laughs> the Olympics are a worldwide event that everyone wants to participate in, but because it's in one place in the world, very few people actually get to go there. We actually had snowmobiles with our Street View cameras on them going down some of the actual runs that the, the skiers would be going on. Today, unlike um, a year ago, you can actually go under an ocean surface and look and see what caverns and trenches you can explore virtually. To see what the people are like, to see what type of food they eat, um, to see what the geography is like, to see what animals are there. There's so much to learn and explore. Because it's cool. <laughs> you don't really understand other cultures and other places until you go there. It has longitude and latitude, so you can find your certain in the world if you're lost. It's about understanding the world around you. Go out and explore and have courage and, you know, go to new places. You have to go to that country to see the stuff that is, that country has. You can find different places and historical landmarks where famous artifacts were found or where famous people live. It's really fun.